Hello, I'm Ryan Martin. I'm from the Department of Mathematics, and uh, my interest is in uh, graphs and networks. And uh, just as a setup for the problem that I'm interested in, um, what I begin with is what we call a graph, but what some people will call an undirected network. And uh, the objects that it's on are vertices or nodes. And what we're interested in doing is adding or deleting the edges, or what you might think of as links. Um, and the purpose is to remove some fixed substructure that we don't like. So I have an example here. And uh, what I'm interested in is getting rid of copies of a five cycle. Now that is legal. You can have a five cycle with an edge, ex an extra edge. And it's legal to have a five cycle without an edge. But what it's not legal to have is a five cycle that uh, looks exactly like this. And uh, the question we ask is, what is the minimum number of changes, which is either additions or deletions, they get the same amount of penalty, in order to get rid of the copy of what we call an induced subgraph? Okay. And the question is, what is known? And we know some, somewhat uh, what is the worst case. So what you're seeing on the left is an animation of the graphs that we're forbidding. And uh, these are cycles in this particular case. And on the right is a function. It's a usual xy plot. Uh, I won't explain exactly what it counts. But what you should be looking at is the top value. And uh, the lower the top value is, the lower the peak of that particular um, function, um, the uh, easier it is to get rid of these things. But what's interesting is that the function itself is telling me some information. And it's telling me what is the most efficient way to get rid of these objects. And these sharp turns and curves that you see uh, means that the way to get rid of the object changes drastically <laughs> depending on certain parameters of the big graph that we're considering, such as, um, such as what the density of the graph is. Um, there are uh, some other examples here and some uh, strange results, um, including, um, including a flat spot here, which we didn't expect. So um, what we're interested in is, um, so we have some upper bounds, and we know some small graphs, but there isn't a black box for this. So uh, for every new graph that we want to exclude, we need uh, new techniques and new information. And so we're, we need to know which graph to exclude before we begin our process. Um, so there are uh, similar methods for working with directed graphs. So if you have an orientation to your links or your edges, then uh, we have similar methods that will give us some answers as to what the most efficient way is to get rid of a forbidden substructure. And um, we also have, uh, if you have graphs where links come in different classes and we think of coloring them, so a red, a blue, a yellow, will classify, be classified according to different uh, different criteria, then uh, we also know how to work with that. And uh, work is ongoing and has been going on for quite some time. And uh, I'm interested in people who have applications toward large networks and are interested in what happens when you have forbidden substructures. Thank you. <laughs>